first thing I'm gonna do is chalk up the wheels. This should this should be on a even surface, but it's like a uh, it's even surface, but it's sort of gravity. spent that is perfect okay here's a, a p30 cross member that uh, every uh, every uh, every Chevrolet every Chevrolet has this type of cross member here and it's good Good jacking point, so we'll uh, we'll use that. Even raise the ram a little bit, just to make sure she's in the right spot there. It's looking good. It's looking good there. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot, a lot more fun than the the way I used to do it. to charge up. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, please. Now you stay inside with mommy. Stay inside with mommy. Go on, call. Who's daddy's girl? Yeah. New favorite tool is that. Okay. P30 has five wheel lugs. Two of them hold this cap on, so go for it. Of course all of this is gonna come come apart no problem because it was all all apart last year. So let's try to find a use for this little lunch pail here so uh, yeah see that it's very handy for the side of the road so back this guy up okay So we are off the ground. It's good. This thing has a good travel to it. Looks nice and straight. We've got both wheels off the ground. Slightly uneven. That that wheel there is about an inch. No, maybe half an inch 
more off the ground than this guy over here, but that's uh, that's pretty good. These are jack stands that I bought specifically for my motorhome. These are uh, Power Fist jack stands, just Princess Auto, special load capacity, six ton. So these are good, good heavy jack stands. Um, I spent a good portion of my summer last summer underneath that thing and uh, it's definitely no fun when you don't have the right, equi right equipment so you know I'm not looking to uh, end my life working on an old RV so uh, now in terms of uh, frame points I think last year what I did is what Right. Oh, I went right, right, right on the frame here. Right, right on the frame, right there. So so we'll go, go a little higher. See how far this jack can go. It's got a good travel on that ram. Is that ever handy? That's it. That's as far as she goes. And we got one more. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we'll do this. Not bad, not bad at all. That was the part that's a little, little nerve wracking. I suppose I don't have anything to worry about. The wheels are on it. I just hate being under here. I'm now doing this. So we'll get that out of the way. This old beast is on these stands now. She ain't going nowhere now. The heavy old beast. Okay, she's now she's now jacked on three three spots, right on this this frame here, riveted frame, which is a great spot. And okay, so feeling pretty good. So now this could come off. Tire on this thing. A, tire, the, a single tire on this this motorhome is. To, that's about about 80 pounds, I'd say. First time I did that was pretty pretty nerve wracking. So yeah, you can see <laughs> all my work from last year. 
still still good still intact and still looking awesome repack the bearings and that's a brand new of course that's a new, brand new brake caliper and uh, yeah everything was thoroughly greased and that gives us a lot better access to the uh, to the engine manifold bolts looking like it's going to be a lot easier from this angle that's for sure as for today i think what i'm going to try and do is maybe we'll take the uh mini ductor take the mini ductor here and try and also that starter motor has seen better days so i think i'll change that out too uh looks like a leaky rear main seal so there's a bunch of stuff we gotta do here but you know first and foremost let's try and get these uh, exhaust manifold off here and uh, we'll take it from there so I'll get my light <laughs> 